We do this all the time. I'll see something with the camera. Are you mm -hmm. either planning on pinching something? No. And what's the YouTube video for? Painting scooter parts. I shouldn't really be doing this, but I can, so I will. This is what we're looking for right here. It's the moment of truth. Is it gonna look good? Is it gonna? Oh, bro, that looks fucking sick. What's up guys? Finn ASB here. It's a bit of a grey day today. So we're, we are dressing to fit the, the kind of vibes that are going on right now. Um, but since you guys like hydro dipping, I heard you do, we're gonna do some of that today. You guys have been asking for a paint video and I really do feel like painting my scooter. So that's what's on the agenda today. Cool? Cool. Get inside. So, on our list, we've got a number of things. We need a tape gun and some tape. We need paint and we need a big ass bucket. Maybe some hardware too, but we'll take a look around. Tape, gun, tape, gun. I see tape, I see no gun. Tape, no gun. Need the gun, need the tape, need the tape gun. Yes! Tape dispenser. Wow, wow. Okay, what is this? Duck? Thank you, sir. Please. If you want to make a doco in the store, mm. um, let us know, eh? Is oh, for right? sure. I've actually asked permission before, and they said that it's fine as long as we keep other people out of the shots. Yeah. Um, we do this all the time. We've had this conversation before, too. Okay. Yeah. So I just made sure with the appropriate authority, I'm not sure if that's you. This was probably, what, two years ago? Okay, so things have probably moved on. Yeah. Certainly, um, you know, we just don't have people want no businesses, people wandering around. I'll see something with the camera. Mm -hmm. We're either planning on pinching something. No. Taking the place there. <laughs> no, man. And, and that's that's the reality. That's what I, I probably spend, you know, a good 2,500 bucks here every few months. So. And it's fine. So look, if you want to do that, just let us know. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. um, but that's what we see when we see people with a video okay. camera. Um, For sure, man. I mean, I know the old manager, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he has all my details. He's got my phone number, my email. Okay. What's your name? You can find us on YouTube, mm. Scooter Brad. Okay. And what's the YouTube video for? Uh, we're just painting scooter parts, like skateboards, BMX. Okay. We just want to make sure approval is done for a support office. Yeah. Getting that technical now? Yep. That's fine. Well, we'll grab these and we'll grab our stuff, cool. if you don't mind, and we'll just okay. move on. Cheers. That's a G. Okay. We've already had the conversation, sir. So. Buckets, buckets of all shapes and sizes. But we need one that is large. Now we're talking. 630 mil height. So even if we fill it with water, it's still only get a good, you know, maybe two thirds of the deck, not even the whole thing. Because when you think about it, the base of the deck is 620 mil, right? That's minus the head tube. So forget the head tube, we can't dip the whole deck in that thing. Is there anything bigger than that? I seriously doubt it. Maybe these ones. That's a 70 liter, that's a 72 liter, that's a 100 liter, but it's only what? 50 mils larger? I reckon they're talking schmack, bro. I know exactly where a better container is. Okay, follow me. All right, this is gonna do. Pop these in here. Let's take it shopping. To the paint on. <laughs> I know it looks like we're going shopping for hydro dipping supplies, but really, I plan on coming in here and stealing all the carpet. I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna grab that whole bitch, and I'm gonna take it home on foot. I might have one of these too. How about that? That as well? Hey yo, this thing is actually really dope. <laughs> Maybe I should get one of these for the garage. I used to have a pinup wall like that. I thought this said, sold as a flat package. 
No one likes a flat package. Press for service. Nice. <laughs> what color do we need? I want, I desire. I like this. I also like this. So we're gonna get this. <laughs> you got us? Well, we've just explained it to Ian. Oh, okay. Making YouTube videos. Yeah, we're painting a bunch of scooter parts today. Okay. Yeah. Is it a DIY channel? Um, no, it's a it's a professional like sports channel. Kind of, yeah. Um, we filmed here a lot, but you don't have a problem with it today, so that's all right. Let's go. We are off to the checkouts. Mm. Well, looks like we'll be shopping from maybe Bunnings or anywhere but here again. It's funny because like I've made a lot of videos coming into this store. I don't think I've ever been asked for the last like two years, you know, my name or what we're doing or like any suspicion given that I probably was using my smaller camera for most of those times, but we're not doing anyone any harm. We weren't scoping the place out like he was saying. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> You have a camera, so it looks like you're walking around and documenting and this and that and the other and no bro, like I just came in to pay my fucking scooter boss, all right? <laughs> Leave me the hell alone. I feel like some lunch and a bit of retail therapy. <laughs> I love me my retail therapy. Did not know there was an entrance here. Walk up in the club like. Oh. <laughs> this is how I make myself known to people. This music is copyrighted. <coughs> Need to buy a new track suit. I actually already have a $500 order coming from Nike.com, so <laughs> I shouldn't really be doing this, but I can, so I will. <laughs> if I was a whammon, I could get a hot, nice pink track suit right here, right now, but I can't. Gender fluidity is apparently not a thing in all these hype beast stores, man, and I don't like that. Never ever get swindled out of buying Champion from a high end retail outlet, right? Go to Farmers, go to Walmart. They got the same thing for 30 bucks less. Enjoy. Yeah, but everything else is dog shit. <laughs> I get two small takeaways. Oh, what you doing there? Making a doco? Bump me. That right there, that is not a lake. <laughs> that ain't a lake. <laughs> Yeah, walk away! You wanna go out again? Is that it? Are you committed this time? Why don't you go get one of those ducks over in the pond, eh? Do something useful with your time. God, unemployed cats. What are we gonna do? You can basically fold it up like a big envelope, mm. tape all the corners, bada bing, bada boom, it's ready to ship. I also do a lot of recycling when it comes to my packaging. I, uh, I bought this couch, that couch actually. When I bought the couch, it came with like a ridiculous amount of packaging. Obviously as I do, it came in two halves, two big boxes. And ever since I've been recycling all of the packaging. The two massive boxes are now my spray painting booth. And then everything else that kind of came in it like this uh, white sort of like sheet wrap. I use that for deck boxes and I wrap a lot of my painted stuff in the nice, uh, what did I say? Fabric wrap, whatever you'd call it. So recycling is important. You should care about the planet. If you don't, well, you're a bit of a jackass and you can do better. Is that a, hang on. Has that been opened? Nice. Usual sight, isn't it? Yeah, don't worry, guys. I'm just bringing the trash inside the house. <sighs> My God, it's freezing in here, man. Hello? Where's that? I gotta stop giving them attention. <laughs> I'm 
calling everyone out. If I don't see every Scooter YouTuber upload in the next week, that's it. Um, you're getting hacked. <laughs> no. We take the bar out, all right? We seal up two sides of it, and then we can put the bar back inside, right? So here's how you do it. All right, now we've got a nice little, uh, nice little envelope. Take our bars, plop them in there. Outstanding 858 diamond grips. They come with two sets of bar ends, just FYI. One for steel, one for alloy. And also these fusion hex grips. One, two, something like this is uh, definitely doable for any of you guys out there. Like this is a very easy business model to follow. If you have stuff in your local area that you wanna buy and sell, if there is a secondhand market where you live, I know there's a huge one in Auckland. Not everyone has bar boxes to ship stuff out in. Not everyone has deck boxes to ship stuff out in. So if you need to, there's big ass rolls of cardboard at basically any stationary shop. And uh, you can do this exact same thing. A set of ball bars, two sets of grips. I'll label it up and uh, this will be off to the courier. Oh, yes. Go grab me that tape gun, would you? <laughs> <laughs> That right there, that's what we call Kiwi Ingenuity. Now, normally I would have used some paint stripper and all that jazz, but if you really want to get into detail with that, you can go back and watch another painting video of mine, I'll put it up there. Where we did that deck. That goes into basically all the detail we came back. I didn't have any CRC strip off, so just gonna skip that step and uh, I'm not planning on writing this. We're just doing it for show for you guys. Now we gotta pick some colors. I don't wanna do something, cause since it already has the yellow base coat on the head tube, we won't need to do a base coat. So we can stick with yellow. A good contrast color for yellow is red. So how about we just do red, yellow, black. We won't get ahead of ourselves, right? I'm not gonna spoil everything. Shake it once, it's all right. Shake it twice, still all right. Shake it a third time, you're just playing with it. Hydro dipping is basically something that anyone can do at home. Now's the perfect time to be doing it. All you need is a big bucket. Now, we obviously went a little bit extreme because we've got the money for it, but if you guys are balling on a budget, you can get a smaller trash can. I actually have these little black ones. I have done full decks in something that small before. That's maybe a 50 liter bucket. So really nothing too major. Also, if you guys have park decks that are only like 19 and a half, you'll have a lot less trouble trying to get a bucket that will fit it. I usually dip like 23s and 22s. So it's a bit of a bitch. I have to do one half and then flip it over to the other half, which ends up with inconsistencies and it's a bit of a problem. But just make sure that any of your spray paint is all oil based. It cannot be chrome. It cannot be uh, chalk finish. It cannot be gold or silver. It doesn't really work. Some of the brands you might come across, they might work. I try to stick with these paint and primers. I usually do a matte coat as the base coat because matte paint actually is a bit more coarse and other paint sticks to it a lot better. As you saw before, I was sanding this deck. Sanding it and buffing it is also very important if you want the paint to actually stay on there. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot hydro dip a deck straight out of the box and then clear coat it and expect the paint to stay on it because that ain't gonna. It's gonna flake, it's gonna look bad and you're gonna get laughed at. Paint primer, we've got our yellow, which is the base coat, so that's easy. We've got our liqueur black gloss. That's also gonna be fine. And this red enamel gloss will also be fine. Give him a good shake. What if I shake it, will it come off then? No? Okay. <laughs> the 
The first attempt is never the greatest attempt. I will tell you that much for free. Okay, we gotta figure out which paint fucked that up. I, I think it's the black, right? Look at how solidified the black is. It's really, really hard and it's kind of, you know, already set. You see that yellow, it's still floating around like it's still liquid, which is what you want. But all of that black stuff has just dried up straight away as soon as it hit the water. So let's not use that black. I've got a couple of different blacks. Trial and error. If you got spare parts, I definitely recommend practicing before you dip what you really need to dip. I just let you back in. Do you want out again? Do you, are you? Listen, Sabrina, I know you have a brain that's about this big, okay? But as you can see outside, it is still just as wet as it was five minutes ago when you wanted to go out and then you came back like, meow, meow, let me in. It's still raining. Shane Dawson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Super duper offensive what he did. But bro, he did that shit like 10 years ago. If y'all are taking part in cancel culture, stop it. It's time to cancel, cancel culture. You want to come out and present some facts, some relevant to date facts? Go right ahead. But all Jaden Smith had to do was DM Shane and be like, yo, like this is fucked up, delete it ASAP. Shane's a nice guy. I'm sure he would have done it. I don't know. So right here, we've got a dummy fork. The uh, prongs are totally bent, so I usually use this one to practice. Last time I practiced, as you can see, this one came out pretty good, but there's no black in this mix. It's just two colors. Bro, these fucking caps, man. I'm telling you. Or as if they got mad at us for filming inside that shop when they don't even sell high quality paint disperser, man. Come on, man. I need a straight up red ejection. That's better. Don't be selling me no nonsense. Much better, that's much better. You can see the undercoat. This is what we're looking for right here. This kind of stuff is what we're looking for. The black really doesn't want to be hydro dipped, no? It's probably key for you guys at home. If you need black on it, right? Paint your part black first and then dip it with just the colors. So then any spots like this that are gonna show through the coloring, it's gonna show the black underneath it. You see what I'm saying? Also, you can see little spots of blue over here where it didn't cover up. But if the part underneath is black, use your imagination and you could see that this fork would look fucking sick, bro. Black base coat on this uh, Lucky LSV3 fork. Classic fork, I don't know, you guys probably never seen this fork before, but damn, she a nice fork. This, has, this has had a long life. Even Karen owned this fork. Now we don't wanna put it all on the stem too because the stem obviously goes straight into the clamp. So if you paint on the stem, clamp's not gonna go on right. It's gonna be bad. So we're just gonna paint it to about here and kind of fade it out. The prongs are the only thing that are actually going to be seen on your scooter. Just a nice thin light coat. Make sure you get that off the side. Give it about 10 to 15 to dry and uh, it'll be ready to dip. Still writing. We've given this a fair amount of time. Enamel blue, and we have an orange. Hopefully the gloss works. If it doesn't, I might just cry myself to sleep. I think the orange just wants to spread and dry almost straight away, so. You 
to use your imagination too. you know, have this with an extra clamp that matches on a black deck with black everything else. I must succeed. We must dip something and make it look fucking epic. 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 I haven't actually put the dirt scoot together yet. And uh, that's what is going to go on there with the big old tires. So how about we just make this thing look fucking crazy as well, eh? street god and pray to the park god to help me achieve great things on my scooter and now I'm praying to the paint god please dear paint god let me hydro dip this deck in a badassery kind of way and no fuck ups thank you sir truth. Is it gonna look good? Is it gonna? Oh, bro, that looks fucking sick. As soon as I saw the lines, like right here, kind of compiling themselves, I was like, oh boy, that's gonna come out looking real tight. 